Okay, let's start our 715 notes. Um, and for these, we're going to go from a graph to an equation. So um, basically what we're going to do, I'm going to start down here. Um, use the clues provided in each graph below to find a possible corresponding equation in y equals a b to the x form. Assume that the graph has an asymptote. It is located on the x-axis. Okay, so remember, when we have y equals a b to the x, a is the original number and b is the multiple blier. Um, and so we want to come up with that equation given the graph. So what I did is the graph that they gave us, I made it into a table. So this point would be 0, 5. This one would be 1, 7 because it went over 1 and up 2. So 1, 7. From there, um, now remember these are um, exponential graphs and not linear. And so you're not trying to, you're not subtracting or adding to find what happens like you would for the slope. Um, you want to find what you had to multiply by. So 5 times the multiplier equals 7. So 5 times b, the opposite of times is divide, so divide by 5. 7 divided by 5 is 1.4. So your multiplier is 1.4. Your original number, where x is 0, y is 5. So then you plug it in, y equals a, b, to the x. So 5 times 1.4 to the x. Um, now let's look over here at b. Um, the two points that we're given this time are negative 1, 120, and 0, 40. So from there, again, you want to try to find what you multiplied by. So 120 times what would give you 40. Um, then you would, so that's division. 40 over 120 is 1 third. So your multiplier is 1 third. So 120 times 1 third is 40. Um, and your original number, remember that what needs to be where x equals 0. So even though negative 1 is first, the original number is always where x equals 0. Um, so a equals a, which was 40, b, which is 1 third, to the x. Okay, down here on c, um, this time, you're given 0, 7, and you're, giving three, you're given 3, 56. So since you have to multiply, think of it as this. 7 times what times what times what gives you 56. So 7 times b times b times b, because you have to go down three levels. Well, that's b to the third. So 7 times b to the third equals 56. From there, you can solve the equation. Divide both sides by 7. b to the third equals 8. And then it's to the third, so you got to think cubed root. What times itself times itself gives you 8? And that is 2. So you can double check when you multiply by 2. 7 times 2 is 14, times 2 is 28, times 2 would be 56. So your multiplier is going to be 2, and your original number is 7. So y equals 7 times 2 to the x power. So that one was a little trickier, but hopefully you see that it's because you take b times b times b to get there. Okay, number four. Uh, this one's not so tricky. It is a horizontal line, um, and so you can think of it as in um, what you know about linear equations. b equals 18, and it doesn't have a slope, so y equals 18. On the back, um, I will do another video, so we'll be back for that next.